No. Yo, how's it going, everybody? It is the, um, I don't know. Well, whatever. Y'all can decide today. But we're going to be talking about Wreck-It of Ragnarok. And, um, as you know before, I've talked about Wreck-It of Ragnarok. And those videos tend to do really well. So, uh, any content creator in their right mind would continue to do what works. Especially since I've really enjoyed this series. Now, for this video, I wanted to bring along my buddy Broken Ronin. Again. Yo, we talking about Record of Ragnarok, like you said, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, we're talking about Buddha specifically, so uh, it should be mm. interesting. Yeah, it should. So, uh, Record of Ragnarok up to Buddha's introduction, pretty straightforward, although there were some things behind the scenes. Um, I do want to say I feel like out of all the characters so far, and maybe with all the characters moving forward, Buddha is the wild card of the series. Now, the only way this video will age poorly is if there's literally a character who's referred to as the wild card. But nonetheless, I think Buddha is really different, eccentric in many different ways. The first way is just his overall demeanor. All of the other deities so far has seemed to be either really angry or really professional, right? Like they have this, like they carry themselves like gods. Buddha, on the other hand, doesn't at all. Every time we see him, he seems to be nonchalant, kind of sloppy kind of carefree uh, in his way and i think that's honestly what's going to lead to him being not only kind of a wild card in every way or sense but really a fan favorite uh out of all the characters yeah i mean in terms of being able to just come in relatively late in the series and just have a massive impact buddha was pretty good at that um you you get this sort of feel from him that he doesn't really fit in in terms of like the the personality and vibe that the other gods give like especially poseidon right who was kind of like mm -hmm. like heralded as like the god of gods he seems almost like perfect to like i don't know if i'd say like a flaw but it's just like perfect without much else to him and that's i think that's part of his character zeus clearly has this kind of like really eccentric but also kind of like prideful personality to him with him looking clearly looking down on humans thor obviously had the same personality and all these characters seem to have this pride in being a deity but buddha i, I feel like this kind of goes into other, another part of his character but almost seems kind of just like human like like a he it almost mm -hmm. seems like a person who would be like a pothead <laughs> like that's the type of vibe <laughs> he'd give me like just like just like a chill like you know not just like just kind of like chill, like he like you know just vibing like it but in heaven bro like he vibing in heaven which right. is like right. interesting right Buddha was a pothead before being a deity. Jeez. Okay, I don't before getting myself into any problems. Um, that is what it is. Buddha, yeah, he's just really cool. Like you said, he has this really chill vibe, but he also has this other side of him whenever he's ever maybe even slightly challenged, where he's like, Yeah, um, what are you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. I'll kill you. And it's it's a really cool, like, switch type personality, which I always love seeing in characters, right? Seeing a character who usually is known for this but then has moments where they really seem to break character and show this other personality. Now, the the cool thing about it is when he's first introduced, you know, he, he's kind of introduced to the side, right? He's not introduced directly into the tournament like some of the other deities were. I think the only other characters we can say this about would be like Odin, a few of the other gods, and like Loki, right? Mm -hmm. Where they're kind of shown off to the side before they do enter their battles. But Buddha and Loki kind of have this beef and then later they introduce Buddha, right? And his introduction kills me because he walks in, he blows a bubble of gum, right? And then the, bu <laughs> the bubble blows up in his face and it, he just continues on like nothing. And then they're like, oh, the, the mightiest of the mighty and whatnot, Buddha. And then he grabs the mic and, and at least in the English translation, he goes, um, I'm fighting for humanity. So yeah. And I was like, yo, yeah. what? That was like the coolest, weirdest type of way for a character to switch sides. He didn't make a big deal of it. He was like, uh, so yeah, I'm actually fighting for the other team, by the way. And yeah. everybody was so shocked or just pissed about it. Yeah, he said it almost as naturally as he just breathed. Like he was just like, this was like the natural way he was going. And if you think about it with kind of like the way he's been portrayed, like for example, Loki kind of accused him. I think it was chapter 33 of like betraying the gods and like siding with the humans in that aspect where he... Uh, was part of the reason that they were able to get their like their holy weapons that even allowed them to fight on the level of the gods and buddha doesn't really outright deny this he just kind of like gives his typical shrug smirk combo and he's just like and like so what if i did right you know what are you gonna do about it type thing so 
Well, it's neither confirmed nor denied as early as chapter 33. We do get the implication and the idea in Plains Without Our Head that Buddha is not necessarily um, sitting like very securely on the side of the gods, right? He doesn't have this sort of anger or vitriol towards uh, humanity uh, that the other gods do. And in fact, the first encounter we see him actually get physical, um, you could say this is foreshadowing where he's literally siding with um, Sasaki Kojiro, who we do know is fighting for humanity. So I think it's like the breadcrumbs have been there. The setup has been there. Buddha is clearly someone who, at least for the time being, is cool with fighting for the humans. Um, and just a really big, uh, like, wild card, as, as Mass said, uh, in terms right. of, like, his attitude towards, uh, like, everyone. Right. Now, I, I do want to say something, right? Uh, and I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. But uh, I, it's kind of the same with something like Zeus um with i'd say if they threw in any deity that's more well known throughout human history right i feel like because of the name buddha we do take him seriously right because that it's a pretty popular name right amongst the the different mythologies and, and deities throughout history but when you when you see the way they present his character i think they're trying to present him as don't take him serious at all but even mm. despite the name i feel like you have to you know which is kind of what I was speaking about earlier. It's like, he's there, they foreshadow him, and it's like, partially because the name carries weight. Yeah. And But there are also moments where you're like, okay, hold on, this guy is, is legit. Like, he he's not, you know, because he, he says to, like, when Zeus and Odin's there, he's like, but yeah, who's going to stop me, you know? Yeah. And uh, then later on, he's talking to uh, the Valkyrie, the main Valkyrie, who's behind the whole thing for humanity's side. And I yeah. thought that exchange was very interesting because he seems so, again, nonchalant and carefree, so fun. Again, I think he's going to be huge. If not, he's already just as much as a fan favorite as Jack the Ripper and Adam. And she's like, by the way, no one hates the gods more than you do. And he just starts laughing. And then later he says something to her, which is a little like cryptic. He says, I can't, I can't just leave that be now. And mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what he's referring to unless I'm missing something, yeah. unless he was just referring to her achieving her goal. And so she was pretty like horrified at it. And later on, she says he truly is like a terrifying person. So yeah. I, I think he's definitely like Zeus in the way where it's like they, they present the character as kind of maybe not weak, but just really eccentric and not. They try to subvert your expectations, right? When you think Zeus or you think Buddha, you think this all seeing all powerful looking deity that, you know, rains hellfire on like on everything around it. Right. Well, these characters, at least from a, an appearance standpoint, don't have that. Like, Buddha's, Buddha's uh, like, repping a tank top, right? Like, you don't get that vibe from him from, <laughs> like, an appearance. Big, yeah, he is big, right. but, like, you don't, but, like, bu like you think bigger than life, Thor. right? Yeah, you, you don't think, right. like, like, Odin, Odin's face and his, like, appearance, his character design evokes that sort of, like, um, wariness of his character. Buddha doesn't until you hear him speak. And honestly, um, right. one thing that I think is interesting, I, I'm pretty sure... Um, he, he makes his like pretty famous quote where he's like, um, or, or at least he makes a, a reference to it where he's like, you know, among the heavens and the earth, I alone and the honored one. Oh uh, yeah, throughout right? heaven and earth. Uh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't Gojo say that? Yeah, Gojo and Suka gonna say that. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool to see. But like one thing I think is important to note is I think there's kind of two interpretations or there's a couple, but two of them that I think are kind of like my favorite to theorize about is um, when like Brunhild or the, the main Valkyrie is like, uh, yeah, nobody hates humanity more than you. We already know that she's been wrong with that because um, she says she attributes the same thing or something very similar to Adam, even though Adam never really had that hatred, right? It's kind of just the lore around his character that makes oh, you yeah, think hatred, that. Oh, yeah, hatred towards the gods. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is... You said humanity, but... You're oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Um, I, what I mean is, like, re reversing it. Like, what I'm saying, um, like, what I'm trying to get here is, like, Brunhild kind of has these like these kind of theories and ideas about these characters but like Adam kind of debunks it and Buddha seemingly has a somewhat retort to it so what I'm thinking is Buddha either cares about humanity rather than hating the gods or Buddha is a pretty carefree character that does whatever he feels like on a whim kind of as you'd expect from someone who who perceives himself as the honored one and the only one that matters is him I think that that'd be a pretty interesting thing like buddha rather than being solidly on the side of humanity is on his side and he kind of just felt like working with the humans that day that i feel like that'd be right. very very interesting because he wouldn't be someone you can truly rely on and that may be why uh brunhill is so fearful of him mm -hmm. yeah i i definitely think so again that's why i i really wanted to title it like the wild card 
because you know it feels like you really don't know what he's going to do especially after this fight because right now he's about to face basically like seven gods in one right mm -hmm. and could you imagine if buddha just like wipes the floor instantly like that this is the one fight because energy brought it up in our v in our like uh discord server like there's probably going to be one fight where somebody gets one shot yeah. um and hopefully it's not like leonidas because i'm gonna be pretty pissed but nonetheless i think it's pretty cool to see what's going to happen with buddha's character and uh, i'm really excited to see it but uh i guess the people can just let us know their thoughts down in the comment section below we can wrap it up here because i don't think there's too much else we can say uh, as always if you are new to the channel make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on the bell notifications that way you're notified whenever a new video pops up on some of your favorite anime manga or whatever content as always this has been the masked man hope everyone has a blessed rest of the day and peace